Hello everyone, it's Hexis here. Today I bring you a method to finish the level 25 elite adventure the fastest way possible. This is especially useful when you have a lot of events like when elite wars, territory defense and elite adventure all fall on the same day and can't spend too much time in the game. So without further ado, let's get into all the details. First of all, army formation. If you are an infantry player, then just fill your highest tier infantry and all your angels. And if you are a cavalry player, then all you need are your top tier cavalry. Even if you don't have enough of one tier to fill the whole army, don't worry. Just fill the remaining with the second highest tier. But make sure to save the preset. So how does this work exactly with speed? Well, you see the base movement speed of each unit in the barracks and that's what matters in Elite Adventure and Elite Wars. If you send them alone, then base speed is same. If you add another unit type, for example as shown here, then you can see how the speed or the time to arrive changes. The speed of the entire army will be the speed of the slowest unit. Keeping that in mind, the main army should be the cavalry players because they will be the fastest. The others will act as blockers. I will explain how it works in more detail at the beginning of each phase, so keep watching until the end. In the first phase, all will go together to C1. After it's killed, main army will proceed through C5. And the blockers, or the infantry players in our method, can either stay together in C1, in case you don't feel strong enough, or split like we do. In order to get maximum rewards, you need to get 11 million individual points, by the way. So act according to that. In phase 2, the main army will take the top route from C1 while the blockers go to C3. Again, you can either stay in C3 or split. In the final phase, main army to C2, the blockers can split to C1 and C3 or just stay in base. It doesn't make much of a difference. Point being, the main army can reach enemy base taking the route you see here and win all the battles.
So depending on your alliance's strength and also participation, you can choose what to do. Feel free to comment or message me in case you have any doubts. And until we meet again, goodbye guys.